morning everyone. Today we're in Las Terrenas, which is gonna be the last place that we stay in Samana. And this is like the most touristy town here, beach town here. It's the popular one where the majority of the tourists come. And we got a super affordable place. This was just $20 a night. I didn't even know you could get like $20 in the Caribbean. Yeah, it was a nice finding because uh, when I was searching on Airbnb, other places were like $40 or more, like $50, $60. But yeah, I guess we were lucky to find this one for $20 a night. Yeah, even with all the Airbnb fees, yeah, only $20. Final price. And the beach is like two minutes away. Mm, it's very simple, but it's good for us. Yeah, it's super tiny, the smallest place, but we've got a nice bed. There's no uh, AC, but that's pretty much right over the bed and it's powerful, so that's good. I've got a kitchen so we can do cooking. And then a very simple looking bathroom as well. But yeah, it has everything we need. Cool artwork on the, the door, check that out. So we are in the low season as well in July, so obviously the price is gonna be lower. But for it being the Caribbean, I, I just didn't think you could get these kind of prices, to be honest. Even in other areas, it's not been that expensive. The trip so far has been a lot cheaper than we, we thought. So we haven't had lunch yet, so I think we're just going to head out probably on the beachfront or somewhere to find a restaurant. And yeah, I'll also show you the beach because it's right here, an absolutely a beautiful beach. So we're staying down here in like a little local alleyway, but like literally parallel is the tourist street. So the part we're at is super local looking. Even all jungle here on this side. Cows making friends. Hello. What, what the, what's going on here? Disappeared head. <laughs> she pregnant? I think so. Either pregnant or fat. Well, what are you doing? I got a fruit shop here. The locals drying out their clothes. We see that a lot around here, right? Just people drying the clothes wherever. Yeah, because <laughs> it's so hot. I guess it's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. And get out in nature. thinking of eating at this restaurant here near the beach. Prices are actually even better than the other places we went. Pizzas, you can get margarita for like $2.90. I think you paid last time like 400 for that, right? Yeah, for a margarita. For a margarita. There's also this other one that's right on the beachfront. Probably gonna be more expensive. Not, not so bad. No, Look it's not so bad. Not to the you have 550 for the fish called Paco Cabana. Wow, that's a great spot. <laughs> Aquí. Uh, like a hundred pesos more on the food. You can get this, an incredible Caribbean beach. There's only us in the restaurant as well, check this out. Really nice place. I guess we don't have to go far after eating then. No. Right here. <laughs> Yeah, to drink some of the prices here, like a margarita, pina colada, 300. What else have we got? Yeah, it's all around like 300. Get some, I oh know, non-alcoholic cocktail, 250. And I think me and Carol are gonna get some natural juice, Hugo Natural, and that's 150. I'm gonna try a different fish dish this time. Filete de pescado al mango. So that's with mango, not coconut like I usually get, and that's actually 600, but I'll give it a try. So here is my dish. Looks pretty fancy. You can see all the, the mango here. 
Got some veggies as well. Seems to be in some sort of sauce. And what is yours again? Uh, it's fish with a leek fondue. Fondue. I don't know how to call that. Leek fondue. Yeah. Looks interesting as well. So we'll try out the mango fish. Sounds like a weird mix to me, but yeah, I'll see how it tastes. Oh, kind of weird, but <laughs> interesting. Like very sweet on fish. The fish isn't salty though, I guess. Salt with the fruit would be weird. So it doesn't seem to be salty at all, the fish, but yeah, it's like a very, it's almost like a dessert, I don't know. Try this out, girl. Yeah, it's like, sweet, very sweet. It's like a dessert. Yeah. Fish dessert. guy doing awesome kite surfing there see him flying around yeah there's loads of restaurants down there Could probably rent some some of the sunbeds we'll just find some natural shade as usual yeah I like this place already yeah, it's beautiful and it's like the beach is kind of empty which is nice yeah it doesn't feel super touristy or anything and this is the main beach of Las but even the town back there was like super laid-back Nice and colorful. Yeah, it seems awesome. Here he comes. So the main beach here is called Playa Las Terrenas. There's loads of other ones, even nicer beaches. This one's kind of like a yellow sandy beach. In the next video, we'll probably head out to some of the more deserted ones, the nicer ones. I think the nicest one is called Playa Bonita, just up the coast somewhere. So yeah, we'll check those out in the other videos. Super windy today. That's why the kite surfer was out, right? But yeah, really getting blasted by some hard wind. Check that out. So right on the road is this beach right parallel to the road should i risk getting the drone out yeah i guess we can try it's gonna fly away <laughs> a local is gonna uh, win a drone a dji mavic let's give it a go though so before we walked along the beachfront that way but we just noticed there yeah, there's this like nice little man-made bridge over the river 
I think we're gonna head to that other point of the beach over there and check that side out. So this part is a lot nicer. The water is really calm here. So there's barely any waves at all. Got this nice strip of clear water. Yeah, it really is beautiful around here. And there's actually a proper like malecon, what they call it, where you can walk if you don't want to walk on the sand. And that goes all the way down the coast, it seems. We might do that on the way back if we're tired from all this sand walking. I think sand walking's good though, right? Good yeah, workout. Uh -huh. yeah. Muscles. The, the calves. Yeah, the calves. More cardio as well, it gets harder than uh -huh. walking on the floor. Yeah, a lot of people ask how we keep uh, kind of fit, and even though we eat like uh, a lot of fried fish and not, that, not so healthy food, and I guess it's because we walk a lot, especially by the beach, like we are always walking, like for. Yeah, we walk know, hours an and hour, hours. Bit, yeah. uh, half an hour or just more than that. And I guess traveling keeps us fit. Yeah, and we also do like swimming and stuff. There's some days we like walking the majority of the day, right? Like four, five, six hours. So um, yeah, that's just how we burn calories constantly. Yeah, so we walked east about probably 20 minutes down the beach and it's a lot better because we're further away from the road here as well so there's more like loads of trees and stuff you can also get the sunbeds here and yeah bigger stretch of beach yeah, and this is like the northeast of brazil northeast northeast of brazil yeah the beaches are like this so yeah i guess uh, we need to go there when i go to brazil as well you've been there before yeah exactly you have no, I've never been. Yeah, we'll go there when, when we head to Brazil. Maybe this year, we'll go there. Yeah, the water's way nicer down this side as well. We've come to a spot called Salto El Limon, which is a waterfall here. And I'm just going to show you this entrance because this is the official entrance here. So this greenhouse, this is what you want to look for, for the official entrance. So the reason I wanted to show you the actual entrance is because there's a big scam going on here. We read about it in the reviews. Um, there's loads of negative reviews actually about people saying it's horrible. Even people saying their family were scared which is obviously not a good entrance to a place. So pretty much when you come, uh, like the local moto taxi guys or vans or whatever, they'll drop you off at some fake entrance. That's probably about, I don't know, a three, four minute walk down the road that way. And then there, it's like all the local families, they'll all appro approach you. They say it's mandatory to have a guide. They'll try and get you to do the horse riding. We told them that we knew it wasn't mandatory because yeah, we did read about it before. And then they said, oh, talk to this policeman then. And then this completely fake policeman, the most fake policeman ever just come up. He wasn't a policeman at all, no badge. He just, a guy dressed in black and black glasses. And we just was like, dude, get lost, see ya. And we just got out of there. We didn't even like talk to the guy properly. We just knew it was a complete scam. And then we came to the proper entrance and then yeah just paid the 50 pesos per person and then we come in and obviously here they don't um, say you need a guide or anything because you don't need a guide it's just a simple trail from what we read so watch out for that but 
yeah, this kind of stuff just keeps happening in the Dominican Republic. I mean, me and Carol have nothing against the people, but daily occurrences of just being lied to, scammed, it's like every day. And uh, yeah, other well, tourists did say to watch out for this. The, the day that we arrived, pretty much, we had people already telling us this. And um, yeah, even Carol, she's had a Brazilian friend that came here before and they told us the the same thing. They said, oh, I liked it there, but it was just scams every day. And it, it really is just scams every day. They need to chill out because if you look at the reviews of all the places, there's always loads of negative reviews because of how the people are being with the tourists. So yeah, just watch out for that. You don't need a guide and it's 50 pesos only. Yeah, so straight at the entrance, there's this river. Oh, that is ice cold, isn't it, Karen? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have some ice cold swimming today. So if you come here, you get this beautiful trail through the nature as well. So it's not just the waterfall, you can also do a bit of hiking. We're dead already. So damn humid. And it's pretty much just up and up. Whew. There is apparently a bar there though, so be able to buy some drinks there and cool down. It's beautiful around here though, beautiful walk. Just all uphill. <laughs> so we got some pretty awesome views of the jungle and hills from up here. I think I can kind of hear the waterfall as well. Yeah, finally. But Can't wait to get in the water. Yeah, me too. That ice cold water is going to be good. Isn't as cold as you think it's gonna be. No? Huh? The river is. The river is, yeah. <laughs> it feels good though. I was here last week. Oh uh, cool. Still refreshing though, yeah? Yeah, 20%. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think the majority of people that come here come by horse because there's like 25 horses there right now. Or maybe they think that's the only option because <laughs> that's what the guys tell you at the fake entrance. Or maybe they want to do it because if you're unfit kind of hard to walk that trail. So it turns out there's not only the big fall. You have this mini fall there. Well, I say mini, mini compared to the one back there, but that's still pretty big. Wow, how, how nice does that look? Yeah, awesome. With the green, uh, I don't know. Backdrop. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the main waterfall. Wow, what a waterfall though. Absolutely beautiful.
so we're going back to that little falls it seemed a bit more relaxed to swim in less people yeah this area is way more chill and the waterfall is so awesome so actually the setting on this one looks nicer i think yeah the other one is more impressive because it's so tall it's but, gigantic yeah but this one is, yeah, i think i prefer this one yeah it's cool can't wait to get in finally Oh, that is super nice. Cold water. Cold water. Check it out. Yeah, I like the fact that you can literally just sit right next to the waterfall. And you can even walk right next to it. I mean, you can see that person there, it's really shallow on this side. So you can get right underneath it. And then a bit further over there, it's deeper. And it's busy because basically tourists come from all the different touristic regions. It does get busy here. And this is a weekday. I can't imagine how it would be on a weekend. It must be mental. I wouldn't like to see it on a weekend. So we're heading out of here now, back to Las Terrenas. Definitely worth visiting that place if you're here on the peninsula of Samana. And luckily the only uphill part is right next to the falls. So you can cool down first and then do the uphill part and then the rest is just gonna be downhill like, like this. And we're gonna end the video here. We have another video coming from Las Terrenas which should probably be tomorrow i think we're gonna try and get a scooter rent a scooter and then um yeah just explore the coast a bit some beaches we're still trying to decide which beaches we're gonna we're gonna head to but yeah that's the plan anyway so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did just drop a like to support us subscribe to like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one